Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for coming back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Yesterday, we went out and in search of some of our little flat friends. Yes, the flounder run is just starting off. It's just kicking off. Great reports coming in. So, put my waders on, went out there, and hit the south jetties. We did a quick little trip to SeaWolf Park as well. Check out the footage and come back at me at the end of the video. I'm going to give you a fast little quick fishing report. Fast little quick. Makes sense, right? Anyway, I'm going to give you a quick little... I'm going to give you a quick fishing report. I hope you all are doing great this week. little guy. I hook my net. Small guy. Let's see if we can get him off. Oh, guy. What you got? A little chipper, really. Let me see your chippy. Little chipper. Hold up your chip, your tater chip. Oh mm -hmm. my god, you need some salsa with that chip. <laughs> your your, your gulp's bigger than that guy. Little guy. Maybe not. Yep, he's small. They look so big in this clean water. You know? Yeah. I'm not used to them in this clean water. You got a little fight with them when they turn a certain way. <laughs> you turn sideways. Got a little baby, baby chipper Rooney. He got himself a little. That little guy. Little, little, little baby, baby. Little baby. Oop. Got me a baby. Oop. Come on now. Little baby on the mullab mullet. Hey, it's a nursery out here. Look at your boy for the net. Hey, appreciate it. A net yeah, with the net. It. That's a keeper. It looks like it. He's right at 15. 15, yeah. 15 and a half. Look at me. All right, you got it. Here we go. Oh, I thought it was in the net. Oh, Eric, what are you doing? I can't see him. I couldn't see him. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
Yeah, he's top draw. He's 15. 15? Yeah, 15 and a quarter. Yeah, mine was bigger than bigger than this. What are you talking about? Yours are thicker and bigger. Yeah, man. The camera's rolling, man. They can hear you. <laughs> so, Little guy. Right at, right, at, right at keeper size. We're going to let him make it. So having those good reports that came in from Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday kind of just tapered off. You know, I didn't see a lot of fish being caught out there. What I did see was some undersized flounder being caught along the South Jetties, went over to Sea Wolf Park, and the people that I talked to, a couple people that were out there, just said they weren't catching anything at all. Maybe one or two little small flounder. I know we're a little ahead of the curve as far as the flounder run goes. And we just need maybe just another, just another cold front come in to re, to really trigger another flounder bite or another flounder movement. Because when that cold front comes in, it makes the flounder leave some of the channels and the marshy areas and start coming down the the ship the and start coming down the ship channel into some of the areas that we fish for them at. Now I'm going to take a quick look at the not just this weekend but also next weekend coming going forward and we're going to switch over to the pc real fast you will see right here and i'm using tidesforfishing.com i always like to use this this is never etched in stone none of this information is etched in stone this is just simply forecasted i'm going to check out friday going into this weekend you can see the report for friday at sunrise is very good here at the south jetty you have a constant drop all day and it drops out around 340 at 348 and then you go into Saturday and Saturday is going to be from what I was looking at is going to be just as good so you go on Saturday right after sunrise it looks like and then right after sunset looks like that's going to both be good days now going into Sunday Sunday kind of falls off a bit just as the forecast bite is you can see right here sunday drops off both in the morning and at night kind of drops off a little bit so the bite forecast for friday is 70 percent saturday is 30 percent which is fair and sunday is 15 percent which is poor now that shouldn't discourage you if you have an opportunity to go out and fish sunday i suggest you go out and try it if you have the opportunity to go out fishing any day, I suggest you go and give it a shot. Looking forward into next week, we do have a cold front coming in. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that the temperatures are going to drop a little lower. Although I can't, I hate fishing in cold weather and I don't like the cold weather. But I will fish it because I am not a fair weather fisherman. I go fish no matter what is going on. So looking in, looking at... Tuesday, you can see right here, Tuesday and Thursday look like we're going to have, Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm sorry, we're going to look like we're going to have some rainy days. So we're going to jump back over here and look at Tide for Fishing, and you can see what the wind is forecasted for next week. Now, what that's going to do is that's going to trigger, hopefully that's going to trigger the flounder to get off their butts and start moving out of those bays and those channels, that marshy area, and get moving down to a lot of the areas that we're used to catching them during the flounder run, Sewell Park, the jetties, you know, anywhere on that east end down there before you get into that open water. So you can see right here on Wednesday, 19 miles an hour. This looks like it would have a little bit of rain, but the rain doesn't bother me at all. But thanks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back. I hope this this kind of information helps you a little bit. You kind of know where what's going on with the bite. How's it been all week? If you're like me, you look at social media a lot, looking at different fishing groups in your area, and you try to figure out 
where is the best chances and the best odds and what is being used to give you the best opportunity to catch and hook up to some of those fish. Like I said, I hope this helps you out this weekend and going forward into next week. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hopefully next time you catch me hooking up. Thanks. Thanks.